We're going to have a parade, and it's going to be a great carnival against climate chaos. The penguins are going to lead the parade, followed by the Rude Mechanical Orchestra. Penguins in the front, Rude Mechanical Orchestra. Then the black tarp monster, then the skeletons, and then anyone, however you want. Skeletons, skeletons, puppet skeletons, and then if there's that blue natural disaster tarp with the jellyfish, with sunshine, with mama, that's how, yeah. Great. Okay, so if the police come, we have a police liaison. This is Tom. He will be talking with the police. If the police talk to you, you can direct them to Tom. And be safe. Have a fun time. All right. Penguin. And.
System change, not climate change. 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 several days together working really hard and getting really excited that we're part of a movement together. The movement is growing and getting really beautiful and fun and uh, I think that we're gonna have a lot more chances to have fun together. Um, today we came with a demand that they stop the new frac gas pipeline in the Champlain Valley, stop all fossil fuel infrastructure and uh, connected to that to all of our futures as working people not cut programs that working people in Vermont depend on and start working for us, for our climate, for our economy, and that those things are really intertwined. Uh, and it's important that we remember that. Thanks so very much to the uh, Rude Mechanical Orchestra for coming all the way. They are going to be uh, about 10 times this large in the streets of New York uh, starting around September 20th and for the next several days leading actions all over the city a lot like what you see here but with many tens of thousands of people and uh, 350 Vermont and Rising Tide Vermont are helping folks get on there's about 10 to 30 buses depending on who wants to get on them that are going to be leaving from Vermont to go to New York 
to tell them what's up oh, yeah. and tell the world that UN solutions are unsolutions that people need to start listening to the grassroots. So we're excited about that. And uh, thanks to all of y'all, Bread and Puppet Theater Company, Pan Rotten Idea. <laughs> This is a gas this pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas this pump. This is a pickle. This one's brand new. This one's broken. This one's brand new. This one's broken. This one's better. This one's cleaner. This one's improved. This one's efficient. This one's right for you. This one smells like lemons. This comes in a variety of colors. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is the driver. This is the car. This is the commute. This is the pothole. This is the plan. This is the traffic jam. This is the problem. This is the past. This is the home. This is the office. This is the house. And this is a pickle. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas This is the kitchen. This is the bedroom. This is the bed. Here are the silk sheets. This is the window. Here is the husband. These are the curtains. Here is the wife. This is the armchair. And there is the paycheck. This is the footstool. Here is the paycheck in the bed with the wife and the husband and the silken sheets in the bed in the bedroom. And then after, here is the comfortable this chair. This is a bomb. This is a comfortable chair. This is a bomb. Here's the little footrest. This is a bomb. Here's the little armrest. This is a bomb. That's the neck rest. This is a bomb. Here's the cup holder. This is a bomb. And this is a gas pump. This is a pickle. This is a gas. 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 Um, bring people into the streets to demand the Shumlin administration pay attention to dirty fossil fuels um, and stop this frack gas pipeline. It's in the best interest of Vermonters and in the larger New England community. So we're focusing on two things today. Um, <clears throat> we're focusing on the connection between new fossil fuel infrastructure and the uh, social service cuts that um, that the Shumlin administration is in the State House talking about today. Um, so we feel like Governor Shumlin is pretty out of touch with his constituency and with what Vermont communities want. At the same time as he is approving um, this frack gas pipeline in Addison County, which is going to be paid for primarily by rate increases for uh, natural gas customers, he's talking about cutting social services, um, which the poorest people in Vermont rely on. And this is to cover budget shortfalls um, for which he's totally unwilling to entertain any talk about taxing the rich to make up for that stuff. So that, like he's talking about this double whammy on the poorest and most vulnerable demographics in the state. And we're here to say, um, you know, there's a strong connection between um, the social justice aspect of uh, these um, budget cuts and the environmental justice aspect of this frack gas pipeline that he's for and we want him to wake up and pay attention to the fact that Vermonters do not want either of these things. We don't want the pipeline to go in and we don't want the social service budget to get cut. I, what I see is these corporations um, 
they see Vermont as kind of a wide open area, they can do whatever they like with it. What I see in Vermont are you know, generations of family farms, are people who have been living and working on this land for years and years. I mean, Vermont maple syrup, you know? We can't have that if we have these destructive pipelines going through. Um, we can't have that if we have these destructive pipelines going through our backyard. So we want the corporations and we want the governor to respect the people of Vermont. Um, and to respect their backyards, and to respect the the history and the you know the many many generations that have been living and working on this land. Yes. I think this pipeline is it's got a whole lot of layers. It affects a lot of different communities um, at different levels, and it's a huge issue for um, frontline communities whose farms and yards the pipeline will go through. And it's a huge deal for um, everybody in Vermont because this is our energy future and our climate future that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a huge deal for indigenous communities in Alberta where the fracked gas that's going to run through this pipeline is coming from. Um, the frack fields there are totally destroying native lifeways. They're ripping the ecosystem apart, um, doing incredible damage there. Um, and it also is, uh, you know, a broad national and international issue because, um, you know, <clears throat> climate change and global warming know no borders. And this, like, what's happening in Alberta, what's happening in Vermont, do primarily affect people with less political voice, but ultimately it's going to affect us all. And so, you know, we're here from like a whole bunch of different demographics. You know, we've got um, multi-generational families here. We've got um, people from all walks of life getting together and saying, hey, we're going to come down to the state house and we're going to let Shumlin know that like, we're totally tired of his hypocrisy about the frack gas issue. And we're tired of him ignoring uh, what the um, you know most at-risk populations in Vermont need from the state in terms of social services, and these are not issues that just affect one person or another person, or just affect one neighborhood and one community, or another neighborhood, or one state, or another state. These things are way bigger than that. But in order to like actually address them effectively, we need to start where we're at. And so, um, you know, I'm coming from Plainfield. Um, other people are coming from other areas of the state. We have folks here from Addison County. Um, and we're coming together and saying this is absolutely not the direction that our state needs to go. Uh, we're spokespeople for Rising Tide Vermont, um, and you can find us on the web. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we're also um, we're also here. This is um, one of the demonstrations that's building up to an international march at the U at the United Na Nations in New York City this September 21st. It's called the People's Climate March. It's going to be hundreds of thousands of of people from all you know from all over the United States from all over the world coming together to show world leaders you know we're showing people we're showing the leaders here in Vermont um, we're um, we're going to be showing the na international leaders that um, our communities are demanding real solutions to global warming um, so the website for that is peoplesclimate.org and it's called the people's climate march